Hi, my name is Mia, and I'm the president. Hi, I am Sam, and I am the vice president. And <laughs> we are from, from Samuel, Samuel and Mia Fish. Fish. The light from it is keeping me awake There were days of hope and consequence A gilded age of innocence We set our sights as high as they could reach Now I'm on top of the world Welcome to our second episode of Samuel and Mia Fish. In this episode, we will be talking about a band that I know and that Samuel knows as well. And yeah. a little bit about music as well. Yeah. So, let's get started. I think we should... Should we start with Warner State, Samuel? Sure, let's start with Warner State. So, um... Before I do Warner State, um, I was just going to um, 
music lessons. Um, there were just um piano lessons, and um, I found out from Kelvin that he. I found I didn't find out like I went to like on my phone and I looked at this music video and it said wildfire and I clicked on it and when I clicked on that video and I was like wow he's good is he in a band and I asked him and um he lived in Spain for two years and found out that he was in a band it was called Estate. And basically, um, ever since then, um, I've been listening to them. And the album, when I went to high school, that was, this was 2019, we. I would listen to The Ride because that was the album that was released, and I listened to that. For my 17th birthday, I got. Two songs from the Technicolor album. It was Technicolor and On Top of the World. And those two songs are my favorites. And uh, those two songs are also my favorites too. And uh, this really breaks my day. I'm really happy and uh, make, make my... Um, yeah. Yeah. And I listened to it and then... I found out they're doing a little contest, and I found all these stems, and I made did. I just spent the time on Logic Pro, just mixing them all together, and it, when I listened to it, like it sounded great, and I loved it, and I mean my version, and every when I put on my channel, everybody seemed to love love it. Basically, and, and I was happy how it turned out. Basically, um, when um. He uh, gave me um, the sheet music to me, like for a piano. I gotta say, for a the world, that came out like in a Techno Color album. I like I love that mm -hmm. song the whole time, and I found it like really simple to play. On yep. The, on the piano. Yeah, because I, because I had the guitar and I wanted the guitar arrangements, and I found myself just practicing along to it, and ever since then, over the summer, which was last summer, he went to Minnesota for um, a tour, and went to, was canceled, and, um, which was backyard bash, because it was due to weather, but they went to Taco Jed, Beer Thesis, The Garage, and Pirac. Pirac was the main um, place that they went. And Alex is a teacher there. And um, so he did that. And um, this is what, this is what personally how it feels. I know how I have that little feeling instinct that I have a teacher who is in a band in Tori. Basically, I... I liked Orange State a lot because um, their music is um, so emotional. I get so happy, and it makes me my day um, like um, I'm in the right place. And uh, it's amazing that when I like when I um, hear those songs like um, Tech on Color," "I Got the World," "Tech on Color" album, and uh, the Ride album. They bring me like um, a special connection between me and Mia, and uh, mm -hmm. I also like um, from the Ranger State band. I like um, Kelvin, Alex, Amanda. Amanda, I like Amanda because she's awesome pianist, and uh, I like when she did um, like Twins High Bed. I liked it, and I was like pretending myself being a, being her. Play on piano. What about the other guys? What about Brody, Adam, and Noah? They're awesome guitarists, like Calvin. And uh, they always... I like all of them, including Calvin, because Calvin makes me advice that Mia. Mm -hmm. That helps me a lot between music. Mm -hmm. And um, this happened over the summer as well. I went to the Royal Room, and 
Marissa was on tour for the Seattle tour, and I was. I was the I was the only one that knew a band, because none of the people in the restaurant knew, knows the band, but I do, and I remember sitting right up front with my mom, and I, will listen, and then when I listened to On Top of the World, it made me a little emotional inside because I was the first one to. I was the first one to ever listen to that song, and. That song has always reminded me that Parker is in the world with me and that everyone's here to support each other and myself and having a wonderful connection with all these wonderful people. Yeah, basically when I um when Mia introduced me to Winter's Day, basically, um my first song I would listen to was um I think it was like um on top of the world, the the first one, mm-hmm. I liked it because it brings me like a lot of memories of between my friends Mia, and friends and my family who passed away. And yeah. I really, really like that song because it brings me so emotional. And uh, yeah, should we uh, talk about our favorite music instead? Would you say? Sure. Yeah. Um, I like a lot of music. It kind of changes on my mood. Um, every day I always listen to Winter's Day, almost every single day. Or some, and um, I also love listening to um, some of old Kelvin songs, and I find myself listening to that. I like listening to Taylor Swift. She's great, and she was in the music field and. I also enjoy, when I was younger, I loved the um, theme songs from shows and movies. I listened to that, and I would say I liked a lot of different genres of music. Basically, for me, I liked pop, rock and roll, like Kelvin and Winter State. Basically, um, I like to listen to Winter State and Kelvin because they bring me my days. My day is happy and get really emotional. And, uh, like, my other songs I like to listen to from Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, Megan Trainor, Justin Bieber. And, uh, um, when I was younger, I used to like um, The Wiggles because they inspired me in music first when I was in um, preschool through kindergarten. And, uh, yeah, basically, I did piano and guitar. Basically, I did guitar in sixth grade at Eckstein. And I stopped doing it then. And now I'm doing piano with Mrs. Zero at Roosevelt. And basically, uh, music inspires me a lot. Because Mia loves music. And I also like music, including Calvin, and all my favorite musicians out there, like um, Ross Lynch. And, and yeah, anything else you want to say? Yeah. To um, <laughs> should we go back to the word of state topic? Sure. Um. <laughs> Basically, uh, Winter State, I like them a lot. Like, um, they always inspired me. Like. How about, um, would you like to talk about, like, what you like about Kelvin? Not just his music? Well, yeah, sure. Basically, I like Kelvin because he always, he always gives me good advice. Also Mia. And uh, I know, like they said, like, um, I know it's hard to lose a friend, pet, or a family member. Basically, I run that experience a lot. Like... Um, my uncle, Paul, that's my middle name, because I got named after my uncle, and uh, he passed away with um, cancer. That was hard for me and my sister, because, uh, again, Paul, that's my middle name, and my sister and him, like, elephants, because my uncle Paul was born in, in India, I think, or Africa. Basically, um, 
I was named after my great grandmother, but she died way before I was born. Mm-hmm. Basically, um, I always liked Calvin because he he's always there for you, like in your heart. And he, I also give like good advice from a good friend of mine, Parker. Basically, he also like. To, he's not alive anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, basically, he gave me advice before. I, Mia introduced me to Kelvin and Run State. That mm-hmm. was like uh, two summers ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, to me, uh, Kelvin um, really represented me hope and um, light and joy because he knew, he knew, he cared about my feelings and um, he, and I love like going up to him and just expressing the way I feel and when I do that, it makes me feel safe enough that he is an adult that makes sure that I'm safe. And he wouldn't want us to be, doesn't want me to be hurt. And like you're saying, like, uh, he's always there for you. Like, um, he always gives good advice to you, Mia. Mm-hmm. And he always there in your heart in the right place. Yeah, even though the people are here with you. Um, one thing that Kelly has taught me is, um, to keep a little part of that person and to, um, remember them often and that everyone's here to basically Mia is trying to say, for uh, each other. yeah, I know, um, Mia fell along because, um, she is there for me, Kelly also is there for me because they both give me good advice, and uh, I know it's hard to lose someone, like to someone who passed away recently or in the past. And uh, basically, Kelvin gave me advice about death and Mia. I also like mm-hmm. to when I saw Mia's YouTube channel, like um, one of her YouTube videos about like advice about death. It actually helped me a lot. And, uh, yeah. Anything else want to say, Mia? That's all I can think about for now. Okay. Thanks for listening, and see you in the next episode. Yeah, we will see you later, and, yeah.